chair chairperson of the show this year. Yeah, it's an exciting show. We've been pleased with attendance. Uh, I think it's a great place for our industry to join and gather and and really uh, address the issues of the day. Well, and, and speaking of projects, you're opening a new restaurant, I understand, in just a few months. I am. It's a small, quick service place, and it's right next door to Frontera and Topolobampo. Mm -hmm. um, name of it is Shoco, spelled oddly X-O-C-O. -O. Our beers are staples in the American industry, but we've also noticed that the palate of our consumers is beginning to evolve as well. With that, there's a need for specialty beers like these, as you see right here. It'll be up. We're presenting today two new, uh, brand new uh, offers. First, we're introducing the new glass range for Evian, a much more elegant bottle than we used to have, coming in two formats. Mm -hmm. And we are also bringing to Evian a sparkling companion, uh, which is a new brand, Badois, uh, which is sparkling natural mineral water, mm -hmm. coming to the market both of, the, both of these offers as of uh, this July. Wherever you are, you never have the coupons that you, first of all, if you have time to clip the coupons, the paper coupons, you never have them when you need them. They're always left at home, or you leave them in the, the compartment in your car door or whatever. So I created Yowza. And then of course, we also have uh, a new package from New Belgium Brewing Company, the Fat Tire Can. All right. I'm Eli Coli, E. Coli for the germs, 1101 local in Chicago. Traditional method, um, and what it is, it's uh, one part absinthe, so about four parts water poured over a sugar cube. It's got to be ice water. So this is our fountain. Simply do a fast drip. And it takes about a few seconds, 30 to 45 seconds. A sparkling liqueur, it's uh, 30 proof, and we serve it chilled over ice. It's meant to be enjoyed the same as uh, champagne. What we also do is very well is um, we're a very open economy, so all of our producers are very efficient. Wendy, tell me a little bit about Korean food in the United States. Well, Korean food in the United States has definitely been increasingly popular. Uh, we have come up with the theme of from royalty to reinvention because we understand that we don't just want to tell you how it's done in Korea. We are going to taste, uh, you know, offer a different taste including those how it's done in America. iCook is a very interesting product. It's a new platform for the food service industry. We've built channels for all of the food service stakeholders, the distributors, the manufacturers, and of course the operators. One of the things we've come up with is a rinser for, for rinsing the glass just before you're going to pour it. And one of the things this does is it doesn't, it doesn't wash the glass, it's just rinsing out any impurities that might be in there. It's just natural condensation. This body is filled with glycol, which is down to 19 degrees, and that's just making the condensation on the outside. And if the ambient temperature and the humidity is there, all of that helps to, to create that ice. It's kind of familiar, familiar yet different, you know? You, you kind of know what's in there, but I think it's the sauce that really kind of takes it to make a little bit of the exotic side. Yeah, absolutely. We're very excited, Dennis, to be uh, debuting uh, Popcake uh, here at the uh, National Restaurant Association show. Popcake is the world's first fully automated pancake making machine for commercial use. So what we have here are our Misty Sticks capsules. The way they work is, we just take our Misty Stick, we pop them open with that little tab over here, and inside is a little cavity, and in we're going to drop in a slug of dry ice. That's what's creating the cool fog effect. Uh -huh. We put into our capsule like that. Snap it shut, and then it's safe to put into your beverage. Okay. Put that into a beverage and check it out. The last couple of days, we've been at NRA, the food show in Chicago, and as you can see behind me, there's tons of stuff to see. We've been speaking with industry leaders, talking about the latest industry trends, and what's going to be next in the restaurant world. For the Food Channel, I'm Kristen Niemer.